Hello everyone, this is Poojita from Talent Battle. In this video, we are going to discuss the sample questions for Goldman Sachs examination. As you already know, Goldman Sachs is going to conduct the engineering campus hiring program for 2025 batch soon. This video will help you to prepare for that. And we are going to solve the sample questions issued by the company. We are going to discuss the two particular sections in this video. One will be numerical reasoning and abstract reasoning. For more videos like this, you can follow our channel. So let's start. Which of the following will come in the place of the question mark in the following sequence so that it will complete the sequence? So they gave us some terms here. So they gave four terms and they're asking us which is going to be missed here. Now, whenever we are going to have a series that is related with letters, you can see here D, W, F, U, J, S. So, always remember something called alphabets and their numbering. If you haven't learned it, first remember alphabets and their numbering. Alphabets and their numbering is nothing but A is 1, B is 2. As per the place they appear, we give the numbers for it. C is 3, D is 4. If you know these numbers, it's very easy to solve letter series based equations. Now here also, we are going to solve by using that itself. So first, let's take the series. D 16 W F 36 U J 100 S then a question mark X 576 U. So first, I'm going to write the alphabets and the number. D is 4, W is 23. F is 6, U is 21. As per the order, they appear. And next, J is 10, S is 19. X is 24 and U is 21. Now, one thing, if I observe the number that is written in the middle here, observe carefully, it is nothing but the square of the first alphabet. D is 4, 4 square 16, 6, 6 square 36, 10, 10 square 100. Uh, 24 square 576. So they wrote uh, the uh, square of the first alphabet. Now look at your options. Everywhere the first alphabet is P. That means the number for P is 16. So first check the 16 square. What is 16 square? 16 square is nothing but 256. That means either it should be option B or option D. So this both are wrong. So, it should be P and 256. Now, we need to identify what is this alphabet. So, to identify this alphabet, look here. W, 23, 21, 19. 23 minus 2, 21. The last one, if you observe the last one, W is 23. 23 minus, one, uh, minus 2, 21 minus 2. 21 minus 2, 19. Next one, it should be 19 minus 2, 17. So, which alphabet stands for 17? It is Q. So, what is the answer? Option B. Option B is the correct answer. Option B. Even here also it satisfies O. This is O. Yeah, which is 15. So, 17 minus 15 minus 2. C satisfied. So, what should be the answer? Option B. Option B. So, the first alphabet and the square of the first alphabet. And the last one, it is just minus 2, minus 2, minus 2 and minus 2. So, the last alphabet should be Q. So, the answer is option B. Now, one more question. So, exactly from the concept of letter series itself. So, as we already discussed in the previous problem, whenever you had a letter series question, you should give the alphabets and their numbering. So, it will be very easy for us to solve. So, let's give the alphabets and their number. So, if I look at the first one, it's 4, 9, 17 and 24. 4 plus 5 is 9. So, let's uh, check this also. 5 plus 9, uh, sorry, 9 plus 5. Okay, 4 plus 5 is 9. Similarly, 9 plus 5, if I consider it's 14. Now, see here also satisfied 14 plus 5, 19, 19 plus 5, 24. So, 14, which alphabet stands for 14? It's N. N. That means this too. So, this is wrong. It should be N. Now, if I check the middle one, it's fine. 13, 15, 19, 
21. So I just gave the numbers. 13 plus 2 is 15. 15 plus 2 is 17. See here also 17 plus 2, 19. 19 plus 2, 21. So which all four bits stands for 17? It is Q. So Q. So what's the answer? Option D. You can easily solve the letter series based equations if you know the all four bits and their numbers. With the help of this, we can easily solve them. Instead of writing how many all four bits are skipped and then to do, it will be very easy for us if we solve like this. So option D is the correct answer. Option D. Now one more question here from the concept of letter series. If you carefully observe here, every alternative number is a negative number. That means most probably the series may be the alternative series. So let's take the alternative numbers minus 17, minus 12, minus 7, minus 2. And one more set, 4, 12, 20 and question mark. 4, 12, 20 and question mark. If I find this is enough actually, uh, we can say 4 into 1. 4 into 3, 4 into 5, and next 4 into 7. Yes, 3, 1, 3, 5, 7. 28 should be the next number. Or even if I write the difference, it's plus 8, 12 plus 8, 20, 20 plus 8, 28. Or even if I take the multiples like this. So what's the answer? 28. Yes, but still, we check what is the logic here. The logic here is, 17 became minus 17 became minus 12 means 5 is added to it. If you subtract 5, minus 17 minus 5 we take, it's minus 22. If I add 5, then only it will become uh, 12 here. So 5 is added here. Okay, so minus 7 plus 5 is uh, uh, minus 12. Minus 12 plus 5 is minus 7. Minus 7 plus 5 is minus 2. If they ask you the next one, it would be minus 2 plus 5. Minus 2 plus 5 means it is plus 3. Here 5 is added. And here you can say 8 is added or it is alternative multiple of 4. 4 into 1, 4 into 3, 4 into 5, 4 into 7. The next one is 4 into 7. Okay, so it is the alternative series. If we find this, it's enough. Just I have showed you here also. So what's the answer? Option A, 28. 28. 21F. 18I. I, this is I. And then it's a question mark. And then they has given us 12 and O. Okay. So, we can clearly state that 15 is the all, uh, number because even all the alphabet starts with 15 only. So, 21 minus 3, 18. 18 minus 3, 15. 15 minus 3, 12. Yes, and what about this one? 6, alphabetical number for F is 6. I is 9. O is 15. Right? Uh, three, uh, 6 plus 3, 9. 9 plus 3 now, which is 12. 12 plus 3, 15. So, which alphabet stands for 12? It is L. It's L. 12 will be for L. So, what is the answer? 15 L. 15 L. Option C. 15 L. So, first, if we absorb the number, it is like minus 3, minus 3, minus 3. And if I absorb the alphabet number, plus 3, plus 3 and plus 3. Plus 3. So, option C is the correct answer. Find the missing number in the uh, following figure. They gave us a figure and they are asking us what is the missing number. What is the missing number here? Actually, if I observe, the first one is written like H819. And this is Q17 and question mark. So, uh, the alphabetical number for H is 8. That is correct. The alphabetical number for H is 8. And the alphabetical number for Q is 17. This is fine. Alphabetical number for H is 8 and Q is 17. But what about this, the next one? How do we find out the next one? So one thing if you generally check, maybe if you just write the difference between them, 19 and 8 difference is 11. 8 plus 11 if I think. 17, uh, 17 plus 11 is 28. If you think this is the answer, that is not exactly the logic they has applied here. 
एट एंड सेवेंटीन और दो ऑल्फोबेटिकल नंबर ऑफ हेच एंड क्यू एंड हियर यू कैन सी नाइनटीन दिस इज द रिवर्स नंबरिंग what exactly is the reverse numbering means they will consider z as 1 y as 2 x as 3 like this reverse reverse they will consider the numbers w will be 4 uh u will be 5 v will be 6 in the reverse order they are going to consider okay so this will be v yeah v and u And T will be seven, S will be eight. Like this reverse order, they will consider. Okay, and if you keep writing this, then you are going to get the number for Q is actually ten. The reverse order, and similarly, if I write the reverse order, the number for H is nineteen. If we keep uh, keep writing this in the reverse order, A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P. So this is already ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. See, H is nineteen, nineteen, and O is ten. From the reverse order, if you write, this will be the numbers. There is no necessary to buy had this. As of now, I am just writing here. There is no necessary to buy had this. Actual alphabetical order H is eight. And reverse order H is nineteen. That's why they has written eight and nineteen. Similar manner, uh, the real or uh, the real numbering if we give for A, A it is seventeen. And if the reverse order, it is ten. Ten. So the reverse order is ten. So all you can remember is do twenty seven minus the number that will give you the reverse order. If you want to find the reverse order instead of writing like this, we cannot remember this. and we cannot waste our time in writing this every time so what we can do is reverse if you want to find it's 27 minus the number for suppose h is 8 the reverse numbering of h will be 27 minus 8 what is 27 minus 8 19 so the reverse numbering of h will be 19 27 should be your base for suppose q is 17 the reverse numbering will be 27 minus 17 10 if you write from reverse q will be 10 like that if you want to identify the reverse order always check it's 27 minus the number and you might even get this doubt how we will identify it is from the reverse order itself if you get how do we identify its reverse order if you add them the sum should be 27 Always remember, if you add the sum is twenty seven, that means definitely the alphabets are written from the reverse order. If the sum satisfies as twenty seven, then definitely it's the reverse order. Okay, so H is eight from the starting, and if we write Z as one, then H will be nineteen from the reverse. So these are some of the questions that appeared in numerical reasoning. Okay, so numerical reasoning questions. Most of them are followed with letter series, number series itself. And now we are going to see something abstract reasoning. We are going to see abstract reasoning questions now, where they will give you image-based questions. Image-based questions. Now let's look at this question. What will be the mirror image of the given figure? What is the mirror image of the given figure? They are going to ask us the mirror image of this given figure. Okay. So, what is the mirror image? Always remember, mirror image means left and right will change. The left is going to turn to the right, and the right is going to turn to the left. Left and right will change in the mirror image. If you go and stand in front of a mirror, also, what happens? Our left will become right, and our right will become left. that will happen in the mirror if you are going to stand in front of a mirror it's always the left and right changes now look at this image itself you can see this line here this indicates here is the mirror now if uh, uh, if i see it this side what exactly is the figure it appears that we needs to find just don't think much just consider this is the left side now everything should be come to the right side now means this and this should come to the right side this and this should go to the left side Okay, now this two should go to the left side. Now look here. This is the right side, so this is wrong. This is the right side, so this is wrong. This is to the left side, but the position should not change. They should not change the position. If uh, first 
uh, this is there. This should only be first and this should be only second. This position should not change. Just the left and right will change. So you can clearly observe this is our right side and this is our left side. Now what should happen? This should change. This, this two should come to the left side, this side. Okay, here it is and here it is. So these are to the right side itself. So these are wrong. Okay, now when this two come to the left side also, the position should not change. Here you can see the star which is half covered with the black. That should be only the first one. That should not go down like this. So this is wrong. It should not change the position. Just left should become right and right should become left. Whatever is upon the right side, that turns to the left side. Whatever is upon the left side, that turns to the right side. Only that you are supposed to check for a mirror image. There is no necessary to check for any other things. Mirror image means only left and right are going to change. Left and right will be changed. So what's the answer? It's option B. So we just eliminated the option. We did not even think much. So we just checked left and right. Now it should become, this should be upon the right side. So this two options and here the position change. So this is wrong and these are wrong. So option B is the correct answer. Mirror image left and right will change. Identify the figure that completes the pattern given below. So they are asking us what is the figure that is going to complete the pattern that is given below. So let's check what will be the figure that will complete the pattern that is given below. So if I can clearly observe this, I just need to fill. There should be a circle here and the black shade, just observe the black shade. The black shade should be like this. It's very clear the black shade should be like this. So look at your options. Here it is in that manner. Here it is in this manner. But this two are wrong. So this two options are eliminated. It's just the black shade. There is no again line like this. There is no again one more line here. See where there is line. There is no line. So this is also wrong. So what is the answer? It's again option B. So I can just simply eliminate the options. I can clearly observe the black shirt should be in this order. It should be like this. Okay, so this option is there and this option is there. These two options, it's not following, so that's wrong. In this, there is a line. This line should not come. There is no line in the figure. We are just going to complete this particular figure. We are not going to add or uh, remove anything. We are just going to complete this figure. When we complete the figure, there is no line that is formed like this. So this is wrong. So what's the answer? B. B is the correct answer. Complete the figure. So just absorb it and uh, find out what can come in the question mark position. We just completed the figure. What will be the water image of the given figure? So in before case, we saw an example for the mirror image here. Now they are asking us the water image. What exactly is a water image? Here, top and bottom should change. Top should become bottom bottom and bottom should become top top and bottom are going to change left and right will not change if it is to the left side for suppose uh, for suppose this is the right side and this is the left side if these are to the right side they will be on the right side only they are not going to change they the rotation will not happen only top and bottom will change that side for suppose if this is pointing to the top now what happens it points to the bottom like this. It should point to the bottom like this. It should point to the bottom like this. Okay, so this is wrong. It should exactly point to the bottom. Always in water image, only top and bottom will change. In mirror image, left and right will change. Okay, their top and bottom will not change. If it is pointing to the top, it will point to the top only. But here, Top and bottom are going to be changed. Left and right should not be changed. This should be upon the right side only. This is wrong. It cannot change here. It should be upon this side only. So this is wrong. Now in this two we need to check. See here. This is additional. There is no black shade here. So that is additional. So that should not come. So we just eliminate this. So what is the answer? Option C is the correct answer. Option C. This is the additional one. This should not come. Firstly. If it is a water image, the top and bottom should be changed. So the triangle is pointing towards the top. Now it should just point towards the bottom. So this should point towards the bottom. So this is wrong. And if this is to the right side, it should be upon the right side only. So this is wrong. And now in this two, this is additionally formed. 
this is not there in the question this is additionally formed so there will be no additional formations whatever is given only that will be there so this is wrong so what is the answer option c c is the correct one so always remember in mirror left and right will only change only left and right left side everything will become to the right side right side everything will turn to the left side in water image top and bottom will change whatever is there pointing to the top that will point to the bottom whatever is pointing to the bottom it will point to the top okay no left and right changes here only top and bottom will change so what is the answer it is option c water image of the figure is option c which of the following answer uh, which of the following answer figure will continue the same series as established by the below four question figures so they gave us four figures here you can see now they are asking which is going to be the next one that will continue this pattern so what can continue this pattern uh, we can observe one thing uh, x is there let's take some starting point uh, let's not just uh, randomly go with that we can just absorb the direction also this corner i will take as a base everywhere this corner you just take as a base okay just like our base now uh, don't get confused yourself just take this directions as a reference we all know the directions this is pretty simple if you can take the directions as a reference you don't get confused and you will not do any mistake also so this is north this is east this is south this is west and between them southeast northeast northwest southwest so now what's happening first figure if i absorb 1 2 3 4 5 6 dots are there now 1 2 3 4 5 dots are there and a new figure is added next four dots and two new figures next what happened uh, three dots and uh, you can see three dots and there are three new figures okay now it should be only two dots the dots should be only two and there should be four figures to this side and to this side yeah we have majorly like that only only this is wrong because one first this side added next this side it is added now again here again here it should be added so in this what will be my answer so for that what we do we just take the directions as a reference instead of just getting confused this is the point we take as a reference any point for suppose let's take this so this is pointing maybe towards the south side okay for suppose now this is pointing towards the southeast side this is southeast if this this is pointing south this is southeast next what is happening this is pointing towards the east side this is pointing towards the northeast side now it should point towards the north side means x should come to the down like this yes so what is the answer it is option c so this x is our reference from here we has taken the reference this is to the south this is southeast this is to the east this is to the northeast and this should be to the north right now this should be to the north so this should point to the north so what is the answer option c just some reference figure as a direction there is no necessary even to take them but just to avoid the confusion we has taken so it became like south southeast east northeast then it should turn to the north anti clockwise 45 degrees was the rotation if we even want to more specifically say it anti clockwise 45 degrees so option c uh we need to complete the figure they are asking us to complete the figure so let's check so first here the square will come we just needs to absorb this particular thing mostly the shade if we absorb it's very easy so it should come either this side or this side it cannot be like this the line should be in the middle in this order it should be formed like this the line should be formed like this so this both are wrong this both are definitely wrong so this both are wrong now in this two we are supposed to check okay so this both are wrong because the line should be in this order so the line is not in that order so this both are wrong now once if i eliminate those two now i can observe one thing uh clearly so the square is pointing to the white the square white the square white uh, same thing it is pointing to the white only uh, now the shade should be here this side this side like this 
and here the square should come. So what is the answer? It's option D. Why am I taking here is because you can just clearly observe none of the two are attached. No two black uh, shades are attached. If I take like this, the shape will completely change. So definitely this is not the shape. If it, it is divided into half and one black, one white, one black, one white shape. This is white, this is black, white, black, white, black, white, black. So white and then black. So this here it should be shaded, not here. So this two are wrong and this is the correct answer. This one. This one should be the correct answer. So these are some of the questions that you can see in the abstract reasoning. Abstract reasoning concept. Some of the questions that are related with the figures. Mostly you can see mirror image kind or complete uh, the figure like this or water image kind or they will give you some terms like uh, some four to five figures and they ask you the next one. So these are some of the questions of abstract reasoning. So these are some of the questions for numerical reasoning and abstract reasoning. I hope you understood. For more videos like this, you can follow our channel. And for more off-campus updates or interview preparations, you can join our social media platforms like Telegram group, WhatsApp group and Instagram page. So the links for all of them are in the description box. Thank you.